I want to focus on something here. In Genesis 1.11, that's one 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 three ones. all right? Uh, ooh, what's God up to here? This is unique, right? Uh, but there's a new word that he introduces here in Genesis 1. We'll see it more. And I want to lay a foundation today as we'll keep reaching back to this. He introduces a new term, kind. You see it? Look at it. It says, after his kind. Everything, the grass, the herb, the trees, it says, after his kind. What does that mean? Listen, today we have scientists that don't believe in this. This one word is very simple, uh, but the grasses, the herbs, the trees, the fruit, the seeds, it's a kind. And only certain kinds can create the same kind. And one kind cannot create another kind. This is so important, it should be a no-brainer. Cats and dogs do not make cogs or dats. We know that. Is there, any, is there any kids that are confused on that? Cats and dogs can't intermingle. They are different kinds. We'll tell that to the scientists because they can't quite figure that out. It goes with plants as well. Now, strawberries grow low in the straw. Boy, I love strawberries. Maybe if we could intermingle it with bamboo, then it would be tall berries. And we could just, you know, pick them and grow them like that. It doesn't work that way. You can't do that. These are different kinds. It's a genus and plants, and there's, uh, but the thing is, the word they use to attack it is species. Well, that's a species that evolved over time. This is a different species of dog, but that's not really accurate. I mean, I love sweet potatoes, you know? Hey, and I love sweet potato fries. Uh-oh, now I'm in trouble. All right, what kind of oil are you boiling that in? No, I'm just kidding. All right, uh, but sweet potatoes, what if we could mix sweet potatoes with snap peas? So you could have a tree that just grew the fries, I mean, there you go, they're right there. I mean, it would save the effort of cutting them up, okay? Well, that's a different kind, it would never work. Now, the God-hating scientists that create genetically modified organisms, they are taking things like salmon DNA and injecting it into tomatoes and trying to make these abominations for their own purpose and ultimately God will wipe out those crops and destroy those crops and perhaps those things will cause a famine. They do it to our corn. Our corn is an abomination, what they've done to modify modify it, and it literally makes a poison that destroys the stomach of the beetle, and what happens to you when you eat it? Well, we're just not as big of a living organism. Yeah, but you're still a living organism. It still creates that poison. Plants and animals can only reproduce after their kind, and it's interesting. I just had somebody this week share this with me. This was a gift. Does anybody know what this is? No. Not a pomelo, not a grapefruit. It's a lemon. Oh, now, wait a minute. How, this is not a lemon. I've seen lemons. They're only this big. Well, what did they do? I know they mixed a cantaloupe in a lemon. Does anybody think that's true? No, not true. This is, I, I call it a Goliath lemon, but that's not really what it is. All right. This is a Ponderosa lemon. Ponderosa lemon. It is a mix of a pomelo, you're right, and also a lemon. And they combine the two because they're of the same kind into a tree, and this is the fruit. It's all in the citrus family, the citrus kind. Now, remembering this as we move forward, we'll talk about animals and people and the ark. You know, God put all of, he put certain kinds on the ark. He didn't have to have 250 species of dogs. He only needed a couple, right? Because the kind, you say, well, I've seen big dogs, I've seen little dogs, they can't reproduce. Yeah, but the big dog can mate with the medium dog, and the little dog can mate with the medium dog, and the rest in between are mutts, okay? And it's kind of unique how the DNA sequence is there. In fact, I compare it to piano. Could I get some help on the piano? Thank you, Brother Luke. Kind is not a species. Kind is a family. Right? And can you play guitar music on the piano? No, that's a different kind of music. Now, there are different kinds of piano music. What if this piano and all of the keys represented the potential for the DNA sequence, the genome, right? Uh, Luke, can you give me a fast kind of piano music? That's good, all right. All right, who taught you that? Brother Jacob. Oh, okay, all right, all right. <laughs> now, what if we needed a really slow and dramatic and emotional kind of piano music? All right, I'm falling asleep. You gotta stop that. Okay, all right. All right, and some banjo music. 
That's not banjo. Hold on a minute. <laughs> All right. Thank you for the demonstration. I appreciate your help. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna slay the giant after. Okay, who wants to make some giant lemonade this afternoon? All right, good. Well, perhaps that's what we'll do. All right, uh, I give you this as an example to try to help you understand. You cannot uh, naturally take an apple and an orange. They don't mix. It's a different kind. God has families of kinds, and within it are many species. There is the canine family. And you have everything from wolves and jackals and chihuahuas and coyotes and foxes and hundreds of dogs that we can't even name. Most of them are just a mutt to me, right? Uh, but there's all these interesting breeds and German shepherds. And, uh, of course, yeah. a lot of them work together. This is how God's work. All of the canines are one kind. Don't let an evolutionist steal from you. Well, listen, you don't understand that uh, the wolf evolved from the coyote and the German shepherd evolved. It's a new species. It's a brand new species. No, this is of the same family. It's of the same kind. This piano can play things that all of us in here, none have ever heard. It has the potential in the keys. It's up to the order of the sequence. Think about it. It's how it's organized and ordered. There's so many keys here. There's so many options. Is this one on or is this one off? What's the sequence? And hey, that's up to the creator, isn't it? So God has created things with many different potentials. And so I want you to remember that. Go to Genesis chapter 2. I want you to remember, though, that a species is not what they tell us, that we need to remember the kind. Species does not equal kind. God created kinds. There are many different kinds of human beings, and humans can mate with humans. There are many different types uh, of primates, of apes, and apes can mate with apes. But guess what? The two don't work. Now, in certain families, like horses with donkeys, you have some very unique things, but what you'll never see is things mating outside of their kind. They cannot reproduce after their kind. Their seed is in them. The programming is in us. That's how God made us. There is systematic order and precision to the design in everything that God has made. 